Welcome to our channel. Don't forget to subscribe and put likes, because your support is important for us. And here we go. Japan has taken a significant step in bolstering its defensive capabilities with the launch of its first surface-to-ship missile unit on the main island of Okinawa. The ceremony, held at the Kacharan camp of the Japan Ground Self-Defense Force on March 30, 2024, marked the establishment of a regiment equipped with Type 12 missiles, signaling Japan's proactive response to China's increasing assertiveness in the region. Senior Vice Defense Minister Makoto Aniki underscored the strategic importance of Okinawa in protecting Japanese interests, particularly its central position in a chain of Japanese islands stretching toward Taiwan. With its location midway in a 1,200-kilometer chain from the southernmost main island of Kyushu to Taiwan, Okinawa plays a crucial role in monitoring naval movements in the region. Furthermore, Okinawa holds a critical strategic position within the U.S. defense framework, hosting approximately 30,000 soldiers across all four military branches. The establishment of the surface-to-ship missile regiment, which occurred on March 21, highlights Japan's commitment to enhancing its maritime defense capabilities. Equipped with Type 12 surface-to-ship guided missiles, the regiment's primary mission is to monitor Chinese military vessels navigating the waters between Okinawa and Miyako Island. Developed by Mitsubishi Heavy Industries, the Type 12 surface-to-ship missile incorporates advanced technologies such as inertial guidance, GPS, and radar-guided systems. With an operational range of 200 to 400 kilometers, plans are underway to extend its range to at least 1,000 kilometers by 2026, aligning with Japan's ambitious rearmament program announced in 2022. The Type 12 system, introduced as a successor to the Type 88 surface-to-ship missiles in 2001, boasts significant enhancements in both the mounted vehicle and the missile storage container. The combined number of officers stationed at the regiment's headquarters, along with the troops under their command, is estimated to be around 200, according to the Defense Ministry. Similar surface-to-ship missile units are already operational on Miyako and Ishigaki Islands in Okinawa Prefecture, as well as Amamioshima Island in Kagoshima Prefecture. However, the deployment of upgraded versions of the Type 12 missile with extended firing range in Okinawa Prefecture has raised concerns among island residents. Governor Tamaki Denny has consistently opposed the deployment of weapons with counter-strike capabilities in the prefecture, which already hosts a significant number of U.S. military facilities. Japan's deployment of the surface-to-ship missile unit comes amidst rising tensions with China, particularly along the first island chain. With the People's Liberation Army increasingly active in contested areas such as the Miyako Strait, Japan's defensive measures are vital in safeguarding its territorial integrity and regional stability. The launch of the surface-to-ship missile unit underscores Japan's commitment to strengthening its defense capabilities in the face of evolving security challenges in the Indo-Pacific region. That's all for now. See you later.